Hey everyone, it's friends. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be unboxing the new Apple Watch Ultra, discussing some of its features, pros and cons, and who I think this watch is for. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and unbox the new Apple Watch Ultra. Now I know I recently just unboxed the Series 8 on my channel, but after using it for a week, I ended up changing my mind and getting the Ultra. Now this was an absolute mission to get on launch day since I returned my Series 8 and had to make a separate reservation for this watch. But hey, here we are. Now you don't get your typical Apple Watch packaging. They made the Ultra very special. It comes with this booklet that showcases all of the features of the new watch. But before we unbox the Apple Watch Ultra, I wanna go ahead and discuss some of the new Apple Watch bands that are specific for the Ultra. Now, when I made my reservation online, the only Apple Watch Ultra that was in stock was the one that came with the Starlight Alpine Loop. Now for me, I like the Alpine Loop, but I also ended up getting the green Alpine Loop, which we'll unbox too. Now the Alpine Loop is actually really nice and according to the Apple website, it's made from two textile layers woven together into one continuous piece. So the next one here is the Alpine Loop, but this time in green. Now I usually go for like black, gray, or brown Apple Watch bands, but recently I've just been digging green. I got a green iPhone case and now I got this green Apple Watch band. Who am I? And as reference, all of the new Apple Watch Ultra bands are priced at $99. So now that we unbox both loops, let's now unbox the Apple Watch Ultra. I'm actually surprised that it didn't come with its usual sleeve like the other watches and it came in this plastic wrapping, which I'm not that big of a fan of. So this is it. It's actually really big. Like it's big, but surprisingly light as well. So that's a nice surprise. But of course you notice right away the new flat screen design and the digital crown is actually bigger than I thought it would be which is surprising, but I like it so far. And so here's how the back looks. Now this new watch is made out of aerospace grade titanium, which looks really good and feels very premium. So here's a size comparison of my Series 5 45 millimeter version with the Apple Watch Ultra. Immediately you see how big the Apple Watch Ultra is in terms of width. But when you look at it from the front, it's not as noticeable. And I'm really surprised at how comparable both the weight of my Series 5 and Apple Watch Ultra is. So now let's try on the Starlight Loop. I'm super excited to try this on. I love the material so far. It reminds me of like the Nike bands, you know, those sport loops. Reminds me of that, but a little bit more premium. And this is how you put it on. You basically just secure it and then using these hooks, you can latch it onto the little holes. But overall, this loop is really nice and feels very secure. Now this is how the green one looks and I'm absolutely in love with this shade of green. I think this is just a great overall clean, minimal band. But of course, I want to try out my other bands to see if they fit. So this is the Nomad Titanium band. I thought this would be a perfect time to showcase this band since the colors of the band and the watch are very similar. So let's see how this looks. And overall, I'm actually really surprised at how clean this looks. I'm so happy that my bands still fit this watch and this band in particular just came in super clutch because it matched perfectly with this watch. So super sick. So next, let's talk about some of the quick features and specs of this new watch. First of all, there's an always on retina display that is 2000 nits at its peak and twice as bright as any other Apple watch. This is really impressive because this is the same nits as the iPhone 14 Pro, which has really bright and crisp colors. The crown is also larger in diameter and feels really good to use. You have more grip and combined with the haptic feedback, it's super satisfying. If you rotate the digital crown, it activates night mode for better viewing and low light situations. The new action button gives you quick physical control over a variety of functions. It's customizable and can do things like control a workout, mark a compass waypoint, or even begin a dive. Now, if you hold the action button down, there's an 86 decibel sound, which you can hear from 600 feet or 180 meters away. With the new action button, you can now mark a compass waypoint at your location or immediately start backtrack. You can also set a parked car waypoint for those days where you forget where you parked. This is a pretty cool feature that I actually see myself using. 
It also comes with dual speakers for better voice calls and Siri. Battery life is also insane for the Ultra. It can last up to 36 hours and with the low power mode, 60. So whether you're backpacking, diving, or doing a triathlon, you can be sure your watch will still be good to go. There's also a ton of health features which I'll showcase right here. Honestly, I'm impressed at how far the Apple Watch has come in terms of features. Next, let's talk about some of the pros and cons that I see with the Apple Watch Ultra. First of all, it's surprisingly light and compared to my Series 5, it's actually comparable in terms of weight. I'm glad that even though Apple increased the size of the watch, they didn't compromise the weight of the watch as well. The second pro that I see with the Apple Watch Ultra is that older bands still work with the watch. Now this is useful for me since I came from a 45 millimeter watch and I'm glad that all the bands that I purchased for that watch work with the Ultra as well. However, if you are coming from a smaller size Apple Watch, those bands unfortunately do not fit the new Ultra. Another great thing that I love about the Apple Watch Ultra is the larger display. Not only is it brighter, but I love being able to use a full-size keyboard when I'm texting people. The colors are also really nice and crisp, and it really feels like an extension of my phone. Now I know there's a ton more features with the action button, but we'll go more in depth on those features in my full review. And last but not least is battery life. If you want a tank of a watch that can last, then this is a great watch to have. Now, now I know it doesn't last as long as other competitors, but for my use case, it's pretty good. So now that we discussed some of the pros of the Ultra, let's discuss some of the bad that I see with this watch. First of all, let's talk about the big elephant in the room. It's big. And for someone with small wrists, this might not be a flattering look. And this is probably the number one reason why someone wouldn't even get the Ultra to begin with. So if you want something aesthetic and something that you can wear every single day, even with like nicer events, this might not be the watch for you. For example, for me, my Series 5 stainless steel graphite is really good because I can work out with it and also take it to like formal events like weddings or business meetings. The Apple Watch Ultra, however, is not as flexible and people will know because it's really big and kind of noticeable. But to be honest, this doesn't really bother me since I'm a big fan of G-Shocks and admittedly have worn them way too much in high school. The Ultra is big, but for my use case, I can still use my Series 5 for more formal events. Next is price. This is not a cheap watch. And for the same amount that you would pay for the Apple Watch Ultra, you can get a really nice stainless steel Apple Watch. So who do I think this watch is for? Well, I really think that this watch is geared towards hardcore athletes or explorers. I think Apple is expanding their watch line since the regular series watches are geared towards everyday people, while the Ultra enhances those features specifically for hikers, runners, and divers. Now, even though I'm a casual hiker and still exercise frequently, I still think these features are beneficial. I also prefer a larger display and I don't mind it being too big since this is going to be my everyday watch. So if you're a hiker, runner, diver, or you're just an overall fan of tech and don't mind the heavy price tag, then I think this is a great watch. Well, let me know. Do you guys think the Apple Watch Ultra is worth it? And do you guys see yourself using some of these features? And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like this one, you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel. But thank you for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.